Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. It's Monday morning, and what does that Monday morning mean? It's a what sold video. We got a full weekend of sales, so let's get going. All right, now it was a pretty busy weekend. I sold 17 items, so it's not like the highest amount of items that I've ever sold on a weekend. Generally, I sell between 20 and 25. That's pre pretty typical three day weekend, but sales were a lot higher. I sold two items that were really expensive. So my grand total was over a thousand dollars for the weekend, but that has shipping and tax and everything all included in there. It's always great to see that thousand dollar mark hit. And it was mostly done on Friday. Saturday and Sunday were pretty slow. Friday was the big day, but we got everything over here. This is it. This little amount right here is over a thousand dollars. But like I said, there's two big items in there. I did sell a lot of sports cards. I've been talking about listing 10 items a day, at least during the week. I think this weekend I might have listed 10 total between Saturday and Sunday. Had a busy weekend uh, running KK all over the place. My daughter, many of you have seen her in videos before. So Saturday, her and her school group, she's in the National Junior Honor Society. Yeah, she's kind of smart sometimes. They actually did a volunteering. They went over and they helped paint a house for over five hours on Saturday morning. Her group volunteered for that. The city had like a citywide volunteer project going on where they worked on like 20 homes or something it was really great so yeah her group actually got to go paint the outside of a house so really proud of her for doing the volunteering getting out there it was saturday morning she had to be there at 7 a.m saturday morning which means we had to be up at 6 30 as well to get her over there but sunday she had a swim meet so we had to get up even earlier to get to the other side of town so we could be out there for her swim meet now if any of you have ever had kids that do swim swim meets Basically, it's hurry up and get out there and wait all day for your events. We got out there again about 7 o'clock. They started warming up at 7.30. The meet starts at 8.30. Her first event wasn't till about between 9.30 and 10 somewhere. I wasn't paying exact attention. So it's literally you get out there and you sit around for hours and hours to have an event. Her first event was a 50 meter backstroke. It took her like 56 seconds. So yeah, you sit around for almost three hours to have a 56 second race. Her next one, which is like another half hour, 45 minutes later, 50 freestyle took 42 seconds. Yeah, so even less. We've now been out there for four hours and had less than two minutes of actual swim race time. The last event was another 20 minutes later. It, it was a little bit longer one. So that one took about two minutes. So a total of not even four minutes of swimming, we were out there for about five hours plus. So uh, if any of you that have kids in sports, especially swimming, you know that you, uh, you're out there for a long time. It was getting warm. I can't wait for the weather to cool down. It was still like 90 some degrees by noontime. All right, that's enough for my week. What did you guys do for your weekend? Did you go thrifting, sourcing, have some fun? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you guys did. I'm always curious what uh, everybody else is doing, spending their time. I actually went to no thrift stores this weekend. It's pretty rare that I go an entire weekend without going to a thrift store. But sales, weren't we talking about sales? Yeah, all right, I sold a ton of sports cards. Well, a ton, this isn't a ton few other bulk lots back here, but we're going to go over the single cards first. I'm going to see if I can guess the prices correctly. I'm not going to look over at the screen each time. Uh, first up, we have Sam Hubbard. He is a rookie for the Cincinnati Bengals. This is a purple refractor. I think it's serial numbered as well. You'll see all these in the pop-ups. I think the pop-ups go over here. I never remember. This one sold for, I think it was five bucks plus shipping. It might've been higher. They're either like five, eight or 10. So uh, we'll say that one's $5 plus shipping eBay standard envelope. I use the RSVP envelope, ship those out for 53 cents. Next, we got this guy. I'm going to hack his name. Let's see if I can pronounce it correctly. Precious Achua, something like that. Again, you'll see it in the pop-up. Uh, this is another card. This is a red wave prism. There's tons of different colors and styles of these. I believe it was the same price, $4.99 plus shipping. I sold an Allen Iverson insert card. This one, the same price, $4.99 plus shipping. This one is from Select. And then we sold Tom Brady. Yeah, he had another really good weekend. A uh, guy just is not uh, slowing down at all in his stats. I think he just threw his 600th touchdown. It's crazy. So this insert, a little bit better because it's Tom Brady, one of the best of all times. Uh, this one sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. Same thing, all those are going out standard envelopes, so they're gonna be nice and easy to ship out. I sold an in-person autograph card, Dusty Baker. This is from when he was the manager of the Giants. You see he got his autograph right there in the corner. Uh, what was the price of this? Was it 10 bucks? I don't know. Somewhere between five and $10 plus shipping. We're getting to a couple good ones. Now, this one here, this card, 
for the longest time, literally was a five or 10 cent card. Mickey Hatcher, 1986 Fleer, but he's got this giant jumbo oversized novelty type glove. This has become like this cult iconic card. If you put them out there for about 15 bucks, they sell in seconds. So it literally went from a 10 cent card to a $15 card. It's almost one of, it might be the most expensive card from this 86 Fleer set now. This one had a little bit of wear on one of the corners. I priced it a couple bucks less. So I think I had it at $12.99 plus shipping and it did, it sold in minutes. So look through your old cards, 86 Fleer. If you got this card, it's worth 15 bucks. Here's the two best cards. Next up, we got, oh, there's a lot of glare on this one, LaMelo Ball. And this one is a rated rookie from Donruss, clearly. So it's kind of this cool, you can see me through it, this acetate type card, really cool. This one sold for $40 plus shipping. Obviously, I'm not going to use standard envelope on that. I'll tape it to a piece of cardboard, tape it down, put it in a bubble mailer, and it's going to ship out for like $3.50 to $4, just depending on where it's going. And this is actually my biggest sale of the weekend. I probably should have waited for a while, but now I have it in my hand. We got it here. This is Jim Brown. This is an autograph card. We'll see if we can get that autograph on the screen. And you'll sh it'll show up in the pop-up a lot better. Now, this is a card I bought off of COMC. I used some of my credits, bought it off of there, and I don't remember exactly what I paid. I showed it when I did my little haul the other day. I think I paid like 300 for it, somewhere in that range. Really wasn't planning on selling it, but I figured I'd throw it out in my eBay store at a really high price. If someone wanted to pay my high price, I would sell it. Someone did. Yeah, it was my first sale on Friday. This sold for $480. Yeah, Jim Brown autograph. It is serial numbered out of 50 on the back. There is the back. It's not terribly exciting back there, but you got the little authentication hologram and the serial number down there. So really happy. Literally $500 for a Jim Brown autograph card. I paid three. So I'm, after all the fees and everything, I'm netting a hundred and some dollars on it. I owned a Jim Brown autograph card for maybe two weeks. All right. That was all the single card sales. I'm going to put them over there out of the way. Those will be the first things that I ship out. I always like to get all those. They're nice, quick, and easy. I get all those done and there's what, almost 10 cards there. So uh, that's like the majority of my orders, but I did sell some bulk lots, a couple sets. Uh, this first one here is a big stack. These are all vintage cards of San Francisco 49ers. We, they started at 1957. Yeah, that's a 1957 card. And they run through the 80s up until about 1985. So just a big lot of them. No big name stars or anything, but just a lot of 100 and some cards. And that sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. The next cards, we have The Flash. This is from the TV show, The Flash. And this one, I also included a couple little insert sets. Uh, just when I bought it, it had a few of them. So there's like three insert sets. You'll see, I think in the picture, it shows shows them a little bit better. These sets aren't all worth a whole lot. Kind of like the Ninja Turtles and all these other little sets. They generally sell from like 10 to maybe 20 bucks each. I think this one, everything all together, it might've been through offer. It was like 12 or $13 plus shipping. All right, last card sale, then we're gonna get to the fun thrifted stuff. You can almost see it back here. There's a big bulk lot. I sell, sell a bunch of these. It's just a bunch of insert cards from baseball. There's 500 of them. This is the kind of stuff that generally sells for 10 cents to maybe a dollar tops. The majority of them are probably like quarter and 50 cent cards. When I'm buying collections, there's always a ton of this type of stuff. So I just bundle them together, one big bulk lot, 500 cards for 25 bucks. I'm getting a nickel a card plus shipping. And uh, whether someone's collecting them or it's another deal, and they want to get the 25 to 50 cents per card by selling them in their card shop or card shows or however they sell cards, they can definitely make some money on these. I'm just happy to get them out in uh, bulk like this. Done with cards, now we're on to thrifting. I did sell two license plates. I haven't sold too many of these recently. Ever since the Arkansas ones sold out, these have been much seller slowers. These have been much slower <laughs> sellers. Uh, yeah, so we got Plymouth and we got Mercury. I got them both going out and they both went out through offers. Uh, I don't remember the order. One of them was $13 and one I think was $13 and change. So uh, $26 for two plates. I bought a ton of these months ago for $2 a piece. So making good money on them, slowly selling now. I still got probably, I don't know, 50, 60 license plates out in the garage. And you'll see, a, you'll see, you will see sales slowly trickle through uh, through the weeks. Next item, and the, again, these are these are all the thrift items now. This is a knee brace. And the reason I got this is because it was new and sealed still in the package. It had never been used. It's got like the little mounting hardware, the little tightening, adjusting hardware in there. You got the instructions. Just look this one up. Saw that they were selling for about 30 bucks a piece. I think it was three or $4 at the DI. So that's why I got it. Three or four into 30 is a pretty good sale. 
and uh, it finally sold. I think I had it for a couple months, so it did take a little bit to sell. Good little $30 sale, a lot of different types of knee braces. There are some good brands out there. You just kind of got to check them and see what the sell-through rate is. And if the sell-through rate's good, pick it up. The next item is a My Little Pony, and this is Fluttershy. This is from the Equestria Girl series line. I don't know why I know that, but I do. So you get Fluttershy, you get this little rabbit, you get this little guy and all this other stuff, but look at the back of the box. It was all dented in. So I could not sell this on Amazon. I think on Amazon, these were like 30 or $40. So I priced it a little bit cheaper. And these Equestria Girls are, are fairly rare. Not as many of these out there as you would think. Got $22.50, I think it was, plus shipping. All right, now we're gonna go back here and we're going to get Tiger Woods. I picked up five of these figures from one of my local contacts here. He normally brings me sports cards, but this day he bought me some Tiger Woods figures along with them. But you do actually get on the side, there are two different uh, Tiger Woods cards. One comes with each figure. I think they made four or five different versions of these and I had these, so I bundled them together. Originally I had them in my store at $60 plus shipping. That's about what they were going for, 25, 30 bucks a piece. I was trying for 60, they hadn't been selling. And I actually have two more of these. So I wanted to get these sold, sell them on offer for 45 bucks plus shipping and they took it. So yeah, 22 50 a piece on the Tiger Woods. And the last sale, no, don't just watch this and go away. I'm gonna show you a couple more things after I showed this last sale, but this one was really good too. And we got Five Nights at Freddy's. If you have kids, you know what Five Nights at Freddy's is. If you don't have kids or grandkids, you may not know. My daughter was kind of into it for a little while, so we saw these in the stores when they originally made them, and I wish I had bought a ton of them because they didn't make them for very long, and they're worth quite a bit. So this is the show stage where we got Happy Birthday. You get three figures. It shows one of them here, and the other two are both unassembled inside. This is a brand new open box. So the package inside was still factory sealed. I honestly didn't even know that until I got home. I just bought it because I knew it had that figure and figured I would do pretty good on it. This set, if new, new, completely sealed, can sell for up to $200. On Amazon, they're like three or 350. I don't know if they're selling at that price, but that's how much they're asking on Amazon for them. Being that it was new open box, I threw it in my store for $150. And it sold, yeah, it's going GSP. It's going overseas somewhere. It is actually going to Australia. So I'm gonna ship it down to Kentucky and they'll ship it over to Australia. $150 plus shipping. So really happy with how sales went this weekend, uh, mainly brought on by those two big sales, the Jim Brown autograph and, and this back here, that was 500 and almost $600 of my total sales weekend. I haven't had one of these big weekends like this in a while. So pretty excited about that. Again, we're getting into Q4. So I expect that I'll have some good big sales weekends like this in the future. All right, now I wanna show you a pickup that I got last. I think it was on Friday. I didn't go over to my local auction. Uh, I always check their preview pictures. If there's items that I'm interested in, I will go. But lately it's been kind of slim pickings there. I haven't found too much stuff that I was interested in and probably have only been going like once a month. I like it when they get good inventory because I find a lot of good items there at good prices. Unfortunately, lately it hasn't been too good. So I went out thrifting and it worked out pretty well because I hit one good wheel I hit several good wolves, but one that I had a really big score and that stuff's all back behind me. But I wanna show you one other little thing here. I found this at the store too. It's one of these fig pins. We got uh, Baby Yoda, as they like to call him. I know he's got, he's like Grogu, I think is his actual name. His name, her name, I don't know. Is it a boy, is it a girl? But I found this fig pin. It's gonna be added to my prize pool for when I do my next drawing. Whenever I do my next, how much did Mike spend at Goodwill or anything? Uh, this will be one of the prizes that's in the prize pool. So we'll put it on the shelf over here. All right, let me get out of the way, see if you can see the stack back here, right down there. There is a bunch of brother toner cartridges. There are a total of six brothers. Well, we got this TN650. Now these are all brand new and sealed, but this one, look. This one looked like it had been rubbed on the ground a little bit, but I checked it out. It is still brand new sealed. This one here, there's actually only one sold brother brand the rest are all off brand there are no brand new brother tn 650s out there about currently available for sale it looks like they're selling for about 70 dollars but since there's none i may shoot for 80 or 90 just pump it up a little bit you can see it was seven dollars and 49 cents that's how much each one of them were and the reason why i got all these is because they just brought a card out i walked in as they're bringing out the electronics cart I pulled every toner cartridge off that. There was only one of this, 749, and like I said, it'll be like 70 or 80 bucks. There was one of this model, DR520, same sort of thing. Somewhere between 50 to 70 dollars what these seem to go for. This one is a lot cleaner, but still again, brand new and sealed. 
And then there's four of these Brother TN580s. Now, one of these is open box. One of them was open. I checked it to make sure that it was still sealed. Let me see if I can find which one it was. And these are all selling that same price range, somewhere between $50, $60, somewhere in there. So now like I said, this one was open, so I wanted to check it, make sure that it was still new and sealed. And what you want to check it on these is that it's still in, wrapped in this silver foil bag and that it's not open. So you can see this thing is still wrapped pretty good. So this is still new. If it's not in the silver bag, it means somebody probably just changed theirs out, put the old one in there and donated it to Goodwill. Don't do that. So new open box, I'll have to sell this one for a little bit less, but still for the $7, you know, I'll just take like $10 off the price and someone will still buy it just to save a little bit. Then there were two that weren't brother. This one here is an HP and this is the cyan or blue cartridge. This one is a number 201X. And then we had this one, it's a Canon. 118 black look both of these up as well still brand new and sealed these have like the perforations on the end so you can tell when they've been opened again these are oem products these aren't off-brand these are the actual hp and canon products makes a big difference in price so this one here looks like it's selling for about 90 this one a little less looking over at the screen probably 70 to 80 dollars so again, each these are, I think were a little bit less. They marked these five dollars and forty nine cents because the boxes were smaller. So they must have figured that they weren't weren't worth as much, but they're actually worth more. So I bought a total of eight cartridges. We paid about seven dollars a piece. You know, I used my coupon as well to get another twenty percent off. And each one of them is going to sell probably between sixty and ninety dollars, maybe fifty for a couple of the HPs, just depending. But still, a really great flip. Love finds like this. Brother toner and just toner cartridges in general are great to look out for. These don't have expirations. They just have powdered toner inside. They're not like the small ink cartridges that can dry out after a few years. So these things are like gold if you can find them in the stores brand new and sealed. I do have to check to see if I'm gated on Amazon. Last time I found one, I think I was. I didn't think I could sell it over on Amazon, which is why I sold them on e eBay. But I will double check because I'm sure on Amazon they're going for even more. All right, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching these sales with me. And... Uh, yeah, hope you have a great Monday. Start of the week, I know, but uh, let's make it a good one. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.